Amen. We are a rainbow. That is a perfect song for what we're going to talk about today. I'm so excited. Did you, did you notice that that song was a new one that we hadn't heard before? Thank you so much. Um, uh, we are a rainbow. I love the line that says, we're not going to hide our light under a bushel, right? Our musicians, Stephanie, Luke, and Bryce worked really hard this week to give us music that matches our theme for today. So let's say yay. Let's everybody celebrate that with our, with our hands. The music and our theme today is about the many ways that God created us to be in our bodies and the many ways that God created us to love each other through our bodies. So I really just want to celebrate and thank them for that special effort this week. And it's funny, you know, we're going to have a lot of new songs this week, but the Bible that story that we're going to talk about today is actually from one of the oldest songs of the church. And it also celebrates the many ways that God created us to be in our bodies and the many ways that God created us to love each other through our bodies. So that song is called Psalm 139, and it's one of my favorites. And the reason that it's one of my favorites is because it says that God made us inside and out, and that God knows our names and every little detail of our bodies inside and out, that God made every one of us to be special and one of a kind inside and out. I love this old story because it reminds me that God needs each of our bodies to be in the world with all of our specialness inside and out because God made every single part of our bodies. The Psalm says that God made us wonderfully. Can you say that out loud? But let's say it like this. God made me wonderfully. I want everybody to say that to affirm it. God made me wonderfully. Wonderfully. Yes. Can I get an amen from everybody on that one? God made me wonderfully. All right. So I have a storybook that I want to share today. And I'm going to ask you, especially the kids, but maybe grownups want to be in their body a little bit with this story too. So on every page, almost every page, there's going to be a chance for you to show us the special, unique way that God made you, all right? So Tom's going to share uh, our storybook, um, and I'm going to need to go to this view so that I can see the word, so that I can read. All right, so here we go. This book is called The Bare Naked Book, and parents, um, grown-ups, I'm going to have a, a link to share with you in a little while to give you some uh, this and other resources so you don't have to try to write this down. All right, here we go. Oh, I see uh, I see actually pet bodies that are really <laughs> gently we're we're playing with our pets. Okay, Tom, go. The bare naked body. All right, bodies bodies, big and small, short and tall, young and old. Every body is different, right? See all those different bodies? Every body is different. Hair, dripping, braided, curly, straight, on heads and faces and other places. So eyes that see and eyes that are blind, crying, winking. Where are your eyes? Noses that smell and noses too plugged. I was blowing my nose when we started church. Where is your nose? Ears that hear and ears that are deaf. Droopy, sparkly. Where are your ears? Heat, biting, wiggling, being brushed. Teeth with braces, where are your teeth? Tongues licking, slurping, candy colored. Can you see your tongue? Shoulders hiding in a gown, riding shoulders up and down. Arms 
swimming, brimming, swinging, flinging. Where are your arms? Shoving, loving. Oh, I love the loving part. Where are your arms? Hands, washing, holding, clapping, folding, dining, signing, Jessica. Where are your hands? Fingers, squeezing, poking, getting pinched and making music. Bryce and Stephanie and Luke, where are your fingers? We have lots of people who make music with their fingers. Chests and breasts with hair, with milk and nipples like buttons. Where are your nipples? Navels that go out, navels that go in with rings and things. Where is your navel? Genitals. Different people have different kinds. Whatever you call, whatever you have, your genitals belong to you. Where are your genitals? Bums. Standing up sitting down. Remember, please to wipe and wash your hands. Where is your bum? Legs, running, merry, hurting, hairy, so many legs. Where are your legs? Knees, together, apart with a scrape. Yes, coming and going all better now. Where are your knees? Feet, Stamping, hopping, tiptoeing, stomping. Where are your feet? Toes. Rainbow, yummy, squishy, splashy. Which little pig? Where are your toes? Skin, all over you, all over me, soaking wet, bare, naked. Where is your skin? It's everywhere. Thank you, God, for our skin. So our insides, gurgling tummy, thumping heart. We're happy and sad live under every part. Where are your insides? Bodies, bodies to love and to celebrate. So many wonderful bodies. I love that story. And I love that we have so many wonderful bodies, bodies made by God. God made your body just the way that it is. So I want to tell you today to be you, fully you, because God created you wonderfully inside and out. And we are a rainbow and we will shine our rainbow across the world by being in our bodies just as God created them. Yay! Yay. I love that story. Thank you so much for letting me read it to you.